So we have 24 hours to see everything. Here's the river. Whoa. <laughs> Hungarian pastry and it's filled with sweet cottage cheese. Wow, okay, this is a pretty insane Whoa. view. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Whose idea was this? We have an exciting announcement at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around for that because I think you guys will be interested. In like, that. very interested. Stay tuned. Alrighty, guys, so we've walked back into the center. It's about two o'clock, so we want some lunch. So we've come to the central market hall, to the central market hall, and it's in this giant building, and it's full of food, supposedly. That's what I read. Oh wow, it's massive. Looks like an old train station that's been converted. There's so many like little stalls around. I think like the local shops if you live here are down here. So if you need to get your fruit and veg, your spices, but upstairs is where the restaurants are. We've come out to some Hungarian food vendors. We're gonna see what we can find that's vegetarian. Perfect, thank, thank you, you so much. much. Yeah. Alrighty, the first thing we're trying is eggplant, rice and cheese. And we got it from a stall saying Hungarian food, so hopefully this is Hungarian. Oh, it's so good, Steve. Is it? Oh. I don't think I've ever had eggplant served like this before. I don't know where the eggplant is. At the oh, moment yeah. I've just had a bunch of rice, but it's like really, really tasty I'm rice. sure it's nice and warm. Mm-hmm. I need to find the eggplant. Oh, it's at the bottom. Look. So the eggplants at the bottom, then there's all rice. And it's covered oh, in... Nice. I don't even know what it's covered in, but this is... Cheese. Oh yeah, cheese. It's so tasty. Mm. Oh man, we polished that off. How do you pronounce it? Is it Langos? Langos. Alrighty, next thing to try. It's called Langos. It's fried bread. And we got one with sour cream and cheese. Oh my god. <laughs> Does it taste like cheese it bread? It is so good. Really? It's so tasty. Like what's the Whoa. bread? It almost looks like a sweet bread. You nah, it's savoury. It's like just fried dough with sour cream and cheese. It is so tasty. How good is it? It's so nice and warm. So healthy. I love how we went from like eggplant and rice to this. It's so tasty though. Mm. I didn't expect it. I thought I wasn't going to like it. Uh -huh. Alrighty guys, after all that cheese, I need some dessert. <laughs> We're going for the traditional chimney cake. Okay, so we have actually had these before, but in Prague, pastry filled with Nutella. And we thought they were from Prague, but now everyone's telling us they're from Hungary. You guys have to let us know, is this a Prague, like a Czech Republic thing, or is it a Hungarian thing? But anyway, so they're these like dough covered in cinnamon, and you put Nutella inside. Oh, you don't have to put Nutella in, you that need, was a self choice. You need the Nutella inside. Also, I really think we didn't need two. I think I got excited, I'm not going to be able to eat this. <laughs> Dig in, Steve. Come on, we're all waiting. Oh, okay. I also like how this little radio playing. Mm. It's like warm. We got the one dipped in cinnamon as well. Mm. I'm so sad, guys. That chimney ain't no good chimney. And then we're just walking down the road. It's called Molnares. It is completely packed and look. They're making it fresh. Nice. We should have gone here. Guys, don't not go where we went. It was terrible. This place looks amazing. And it's like fully packed as well. Like, look. I didn't go. Oh, guys, I regret. <laughs> she was on there. I had no idea where to go. All right. That's now the place you to guys go. Know, though. Oh, the more you know. So we've come down to the Danube River and we're walking along the promenade now, but. I'm sure this is much more fitter in the summertime. This is the view from the river. It's actually still really nice. Also, there's like bits here in Budapest which we don't have time to explore. There's like so much to see. I know. Well, do we tell them yet? Yeah, okay. Little sneaky fun fact from Flying the Nest is that this may not be the only time we are coming to Budapest this year. <gasps> oh, revealing we'll find plans. Out later. And it may be much more warmer when we come back. 
Guys, you seriously need to go for a walk along the promenade. Like this is such a beautiful side to like see the city. I think going on a boat ride would be amazing. Maybe in summer. We're it's... saving it for summer, guys. <laughs> <laughs> We have not had the best luck. We are literally leaving to the airport and is the perfect day to explore Budapest. But I hope you guys enjoyed that Europe series. It has come to an end. It's been so incredible. It really felt like a holiday, which was nice because we had so much flexibility to just go wherever we want. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. But the exciting announcement is, which I realize we probably told you it in an earlier vlog because I'm going to edit it in so you have more chances. But if you want to come and do this trip, we've actually teamed up with STA and Eurail to give away the trip we just did. So if you want to come and do it, there's a link below. So they're giving away flights, your Eurail passes and spending money for you and a friend. So if you guys enjoyed coming to Austria and you want to do it yourself and going to all the other countries that we explored as well, make sure you click the link. Kind of feels cool. I'm so excited that we are able to like give away a competition because you guys totally deserve it. So definitely go and enter and let us know which places you want to go to if you do enter the competition. But we'll see you guys back in Perth. 24 hours of traveling just in a finger clip. You guys aren't going to see that. You're just going to see us back in... Officially, legally, and married. What do you think of Jess? Do we do it? Do we have a honeymoon? Do we talk about we are? I think so, let's do it. We were young and we were free and running. Never oh. bothered about Winter what chill. could be coming. Nice. Every day we danced and life the was smiling. The library doesn't open on Monday. We were young and drunk in love. This place is so beautiful though. Oh my goodness, we're a brand new country tomorrow. The hills are alive. This is my first snowman I think I've ever seen. Guys, welcome to the border of our 52nd country. I honestly can't believe how pretty this place is. I'm always shining next to you. Oh, I got you. There's no reason to. My, that is great. Because <laughs> you're okay, here no, now to stay you every night and day. Guys, I think I'm loving the Polaroid. The Blunts? The, the, the Blancy? I have always been afraid of changes. See you, Luciana. But you've shown me life is full of faces. The Beast from the East. <laughs> you were young and unaware. And welcome back to Budapest. Oh, I got you. There's no reason to. Guys, that was such a cool experience. Last day here in Europe. It looks so pretty. Why couldn't it have been this weather yesterday? It looks great. Time is up, nothing to do. You are gone, that makes me blue.